We're going to take two dozen eggs just like this, put them in a cooler for almost a month. You won't believe what happens next. I'm going to show you a few of the modifications we've made to our cooler to make it work. So we've added in a window. Uh, always nice to see what's going on inside. We've got a light bulb. This one's 40 watts, not LED or fluorescent, so it throws off plenty of heat. Uh, we've got a thermostat to keep this around 100 and we have a thermometer to monitor that as well as humidity on the bottom there and we have a fan to keep everything circulated nice and even and that's why we have the racks in there too keep the air going all the way around it's been six days straight that we've been running our cooler with two dozen assorted eggs so we're going to take a look right inside the eggs and see what's happening but wait won't that hurt the eggs well not quite we're going to do something called handling you mean like one of these uh no more like this. Day 21 came really quick and you can hear lots of action inside that cooler. What is that? It's to help take pictures of chickies. We did help this little chick flip over, but not before he had a good long nap. Keep an eye on those fluffy older chicks down in the bottom there. This one just hops right up. I can't wait to meet the new siblings. Gets placed back down below with the older siblings, but sure enough, he's back up there again. With the earlier chicks moved out of the incubator, we have just the last two to hatch.
the end. Or maybe not. We had two dozen eggs. I mean, some wouldn't turn out because they're not fertilized, temperature, humidity. Look at all the movement we had inside those eggs, though. Let's take a closer look. So we had the eyes, the beak, or was it a bill? Wait, if that was a bill, then what are we even looking at? I think we're about to find out. It's not over yet. It's a duck. Hey, how long does it take for a duck to find water? Uh, just a few seconds, especially when you have a time lapse. But man, this guy had lots of fun in there. Going for a nice long swim. Chirping away, quite happy. This guy's happy in his new home, and all he needs now is a friend. Lucky for him, there's still some action in the cooler. So in the end, we had 10 chickens and two ducks that hatched. So not bad from two dozen eggs, we ended up with 50%. You might have better success using a commercial incubator. They have quite a few features that we didn't have in ours. Uh, automatic egg turning, which would be nice instead of turning over manually. And they probably regulate a little bit better as far as the heat and humidity. We have plenty more to see as these birds grow up. Please subscribe, stay tuned, and as always, thank you for watching.